Welcome to the Zombie Bunker. This is the new Hellcat. New Springfield Hellcat. I made a video on this a little bit earlier saying how this gun is unsafe. But come to my attention, I bought this gun to try it out. I had the P365, I have the Glock 43, I have several small guns like this. That the trigger was unsafe on this gun. And I didn't think much about it until I got out and actually shot the gun and discovered what the guy said, or he or she, that commented on my video was actually correct, 100% correct, that the trigger on the Hellcat is not safe. So I made a video about it, and some people can't comprehend that when I hold my trigger to the side, I'm, I'm doing that so they can see the blade. So I'm going to make this video so maybe it's a little bit clearer and they can comprehend this. How this gun is not safe concealed carry. I'm going to take the mag out because it's easier to work the stuff. I got the Glock which has a blade trigger also. Many new guns have a blade trigger. The blade trigger is to keep you, keep you from snagging the side of the gun, right? It's, so you got to purposely pull the trigger. If you catch the side of it like this, you got to put your finger in front of the trigger, in front to pull the trigger. You got to match that little, that little safety blade in, right? The little safety blade right there. No big deal. Just so you make sure you get your finger in front of the trigger. Well, this is not a target gun. This is not a range gun. This is a gun that you're gonna uh, you're gonna pull out and draw in a panic situation. You, you, you're not going to pull it out and concentrate it on putting your finger in the very center of the trigger so it don't hang up on you. Okay, let's get to this. The Hellcat, will, the trigger will lock up on you. This is not good. I don't care if you bought the Hellcat and, and it works good for you and it's reliable. The trigger will hang up on the Hellcat and they should be recalled. This is not a safe gun. And let me explain why. Okay, you pull the gun out. You go out and shoot. You can't shoot if you don't. See, I'm pushing real hard right here. Look, my finger is, I got a full grip as far as I can. It's because if I push, if I, when I come around the gun, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible because people can't seem to comprehend this. If I, if I cut when I when I, if I put any side tension at all when I come around, this is all going to happen real fast. You're not going to be thinking about this in in this panic situation. You're not going to be worried about trying to put my finger in there and get it just right. If you put any side tension at all, I don't care how. See how good my finger is around there. I cannot pull the trigger because when when I come through went through here, I pushed a little bit sideways. The Glock, I can push a little bit sideways, no problem, and watch. I grab it up, push sideways, pull the trigger. <clears throat> it is beyond my imagination that people are defending this. This gun is not safe. This gun should be recalled. <sighs> it killed me, it's crazy. And what I'm getting at, Okay, when I, when I held, when, in my other video, when I held the trigger right here and pushed, that was only, only so y'all could still see the safety blade. I don't have my finger like this so y'all can see that blade. I don't care how hard you push. Oh, here's the Glock. Oh, well, I can't even hardly do it on the Glock. As soon as I go around, it goes to shoot. Any, any tension at all on the Glock. So I'm going to hold the Glock really bad see i see uh, let's say I, I grab the glock like this actually it would be like this as so, soon as you go to pull the safety blade if you get any attention on tension at all on the glock's safety blade you can pull the trigger but if you if you don't hit the blade you can't that's the whole design of the purpose if, purpose of the design if you if you catch the side you can't pull it but if you get any so much whatsoever you can pull the trigger 
and, and, I, and I was doing it like this so you could see the, the tension. See, long as you push the center of the blade, you can pull the trigger. If this gun right here, this Hellcat, okay, I'm gonna come around like this. I, I got a quick grip and I went like this and I pushed, I pushed to the side just a hair bit, just a, t just a little bit of tension I can't get my finger in the trigger guard no more than this, right? If I push to the side just a little bit before I push that center blade, you can't pull the trigger. I'm pushing really hard right now. I cannot pull the trigger. The only reason I held it like this is so you can see. So you can see. Now watch me try to pull. Okay, this is the same right here. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to slide my finger back. You cannot. That is not safe. I don't care... I don't care how many rounds you count you put through this gun. I don't care how many times you practice with it. You cannot practice a panic situation to grab the gun, pull the safety tab before you put any tension whatsoever on that trigger. You just can't do it. This is an unsafe trigger. Should be recalled. And if you defend this, you say it's not a problem. You, you're, you're not, I don't, I don't, you're, you're, uh, it is a problem. If you say it's not a problem, you're probably part of the problem. You, you're, you bought a gun, it's the only gun you got, uh, or something, or you, you don't want to admit it to yourself. You kind of deny the thing. So, I don't know how I can make this any more clear that this gun is not safe. A quick... You're, you, we're not talking about going to the range and, and putting your hand around it like really nice and, and making sure I pull this tab first. We're not talking about that. We're talking about grabbing the gun up and pulling. See, I can't, I'm, I'm pulling really hard right now. Any, any, any offset pressure before you mash this safety guard, you cannot fire the gun. That's a flaw. I don't care what you said, what you say. You, you, uh, I shouldn't be having to go in here and file this. See, or I mean, uh, Springfield. It's ain't even actual Springfield anyway. It's uh, imported from Croatia. They should import this junk. That's what it is. If it's going to copy a Glock, they should have did it the right way and actually copied a Glock. And that's the bottom line. I can pull this as sideways as I want. As long as I mash that blade in the middle, I can still pull my trigger. No matter how bad a grip I got, how bad a panic situation is, if I get my hand in the, in the trigger guard, I can still pull the trigger. You cannot do that with this piece of junk. It's crap, should be recalled, and that's what it is. It's a junk gun. Thanks for watching. Share this and share this. Let people know that this is the gun is not safe to carry. And I'm aggravated because the people who actually got on there on the other video and actually said that is okay that a trigger is like that when it's not. It's not. And that's the bottom line. See y'all.